League, England Premier League coming back this weekend. Bournemouth, Nottingham Forest, 10 a.m. Eastern time on Saturday morning, 7 a.m. here on the left coast. And uh, we're basically looking at a pick em price range here. Nottingham Forest is <clears throat> short favorite on the three-way line, plus 190, plus 145, plus 250 for the draw. You're interested in the total more than the side, two and a half. It's juice to the over now. We've seen over money uh, uh, on this from uh, two and a half even money. Now I'm seeing minus 30 on the total. Talk about Nottingham and Bournemouth, BTTS. Yeah, these are two teams that are in the bottom half on the Premier League table. Uh, Forrest was the one, the team that was the closest to being relegated that just stayed in last year and both of that both of the reason for that is these teams just you know they're very porous on the defensive side they just simply don't have good defenses because of that you look at a lot of the data from last season first of all the premier league in general was a very high scoring was one of their highest scoring years they've ever had in the league uh and they had a both teams to score rate that's a very common bet on on soccer is just betting both teams to simply score 61 percent overall both teams to score rate for the entire league and then you look at these two teams individually Bournemouth was 23 and 15, both teams to score. So 23 times they did, 15 times they didn't. Uh, and they were 27 and 11 when just comparing over two and a half goals. Sometimes they might lose, you know, one to three and you're, you're going to cash both of those bets. Uh, they only kept two clean sheets at home and they failed to score uh, in only four of those. Not, Nottingham, very similar, 25 and 13, both teams to score record. Uh, and a little bit lower, 21 and 17 over two and a half record. But similarly, they kept four clean sheets away from home uh, and they were only bank- blank twice. It's just one of those things where neither team keeps a lot of clean sheets, but they generally find that one goal somewhere throughout the game. And with you got two of them playing each other, you got to th- feel like uh, at least one of them is going to find that second goal. Um, you look at, you know, the, the hardest part about the first couple of weeks in a Premier League season or any soccer season, I guess it's really any sport, right? Is there's been a lot of news, a lot of transfers uh, over the summer. So you, you you take the team that you knew from last yeah. year, and then you try to go, all right, you know, what's different about them this year? The, the big thing for Bournemouth is they lost. There's a great sale for them. They lost probably their most important offensive weapon, weapon uh, Dominic Solanke. He was transferred to Tottenham for a big big amount of money. He scored 69 goals and assisted on 25 others. Uh, in his last four seasons. So that's a lot to replace, but they do have a couple of young guys that they signed uh, with decent track records that should be able to come in. You know, will that happen immediately? Will that take a little time to gel? Of course, that's the gamble, right? But if they can kind of replace his threat, let's just say up front, I think both teams are going to get the chances, right? Because their defenses stink. Solanke was just a guy that could capitalize on them. So with these two guys, they have experience. One of them, um, you know, he, he's from uh, Hitafe in La Liga. He scored 30 goals uh, in the two previous seasons for the Spanish side. So it's like the, it, the, the, the data is there. These guys can score. It's just will that gel right away. But I, I'm willing to bet that just because of the defenses alone, we're going to see some chances both ways. And you can get the parlay, very combo or very common bet in, in soccer, is you, you combine the both teams to score prop with over two and a half goals. Because as you said, Prez, the, the total's juiced at minus 130. Well, you combine both teams to score plus over yeah. two and a half, it's even money. Even money. So that way, a 2-1 result, uh, you're cashing in either scenario. But if we lose, we're only losing you know, even money on the bet versus. It's, un- it's unlikely this game ends 3-0 where you should have just taken the over versus taking right. this combo prop. That's kind of the difference. So I like both teams to score over two and a half. If you want to be different, just go over two and a half. That's fine.